Well, today we're thinking about gentleness. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be a sheep? Well, I haven't got any sheep, but I have got my unicorn who's agreed to pretend to be a sheep for us today. So sheep live out in fields all day, don't they? Eating the green grass and enjoying the sunshine. Is that something you'd like to do? Or perhaps you'd like to stay inside with the comfy chairs and the tasty food instead. But sheep need lots of looking after, don't they? Do you know who looks after sheep? A shepherd. They have lots and lots of jobs to do to look after the sheep. They have to find all the delicious green grass for the sheep to eat. They have to check that they're okay, that they're not injured. They've got to protect them at night from the cold and the dark. So, what do you think a shepherd would do if their sheep decided it wanted to go and stand in the middle of a road? Do you think the shepherd would stand in the field and shout at the sheep and say, you're so silly, what are you doing standing in the road? Of course not. The shepherd is there to protect the sheep and to look after them. His job is to be gentle with the sheep, so he'll go and help them and make sure that they're safe. In the Bible, we learn that Jesus is like a shepherd. I'm going to read a parable now that he told. It's from John chapter 10, verses 1 to 16. If you've got a Bible, you might want to look it up and read along with me. Jesus said, I am telling you the truth. The man who doesn't enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in some other way, is a thief and a robber. The man who goes in through the gate is a shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him. The sheep hear his voice as he calls his own sheep by name and he leads them out. When he's brought them out, he goes ahead of them and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow someone else. Instead, they will run away from such a person because they don't know his voice. Jesus told this parable, but they didn't understand what he meant. So Jesus said again, I'm telling you the truth. I am the gate for the sheep. All others who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep didn't listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever comes in by me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy. I have come in order that you might have life, life in all its fullness. I am the good shepherd who is willing to die for the sheep. When the hired man, who is not a shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees a wolf coming, he leaves the sheep and runs away. So the wolf snatches the sheep and scatters them. The hired man runs away because he's only a hired man and he doesn't care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd. As the father knows me and I know the father, in the same way I know my sheep and they know me, and I am willing to die for them. There are other sheep which belong to me that are not in the sheepfold. I must bring them too. They will listen to my voice and they will become one flock with one shepherd. So our freak today is gentleness. And in that parable, Jesus was reminding us that he loves and cares for us just like a shepherd protects his sheep. Jesus' job is to love and protect us like a shepherd, not to steal and kill and destroy like a thief. Jesus is God's picture of gentleness to us. He knows us inside out and he was willing to die so that we can be part of his flock, part of his family. So, if we're going to be gentle like Jesus is gentle, we're going to need to be like a shepherd too, looking out for and caring for other people. And when we're being gentle, we're probably going to use some of those other fruits of the Spirit too. Perhaps we'll be using love or faithfulness, or peace, or patience. All of those fruits that we've been thinking about over the last few weeks are connected to each other. And as we grow one, we find we're growing lots of the others too at the same time. I think it's time for another song now. And then after that, we'll read one of my favorite Psalms. <laughs> 